real quick video on how to get buffalo horns off if uh, that's what you're looking to do. I couldn't find any uh, decent videos on it, uh, very little information on the internet about it, so I figured I'd make a video. Buffalo horns, right? So this is what the inside of them looks like. You can tell, a little bit of flesh around the bottom. I cut this right at the hairline, just maybe, maybe just slightly below the hairline. She had a uh, stub horn on one side. Yeah. But what you're going to want to do is I use this knife. Get it off. It's ma uh, use a maceration process, which is just basically rotting them off. Um, what is today? Today's Tuesday. So it's literally 13 days after the kill. Um, it's my first bison here. Maybe even last. <laughs> They're not easy to get a tag for. But, uh, Here's the, uh, here's the skull giveaway slice. And this is what it looks like underneath the, the horns. This is my first skull I've ever worked on with horns as opposed to antlers. And I didn't realize initially that you have to take the horns off, otherwise there's meat on here that'll rot away. So this one I cleaned off. I use pressure wash cleaning method. Um, I like the natural look of the bone. I, uh, I don't like using peroxide all that much anymore because it just deteriorates bone i mean ever so slightly you can you know totally use peroxide method or whatever the case is boiling and whatnot i especially don't like to boil anymore because it leaves it's hard to uh not have grease stains on the bone anymore i've had success with it on, on occasion but I like the pressure washer method any, anymore. I just use a little Sun Joe pressure washer I got for like 120 bucks off of Amazon. Um, it's got like 1300 PSI. It's not that bad. You're not going to peel away bone or nothing. I can use it on these cracks. And I'm getting real close with the uh, the narrowest fan tip that I have on there. Not the zero, but the, the narrowest fan tip. And I, I'm probably fleshing this skull with like the, the tip maybe a inch off the away from the bone but anyway so this is the flesh that rots away under the horns if you don't take these horns off and clean them out and clean this this flesh off of here it'll rot and you'll never get that stink away and you 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 put this up on as a wall hanger and it'll always stink you know you don't want your guests to be seeing that smelling that so yeah simple as that just uh you gotta you gotta make a cut right along the hairline there. I used a knife and I initially got just the tip in, maybe about a quarter of an inch, try to work it around there. Uh, but it takes, like I said, this is day 13 after the kill. Uh, motorbike here. Um, these are the tools I used. Uh, every couple of days I come out here, I let it soak in this blue tub I've got over here. One of these, like, just, it's like cattle feed tub you get from the feed store. It was big enough to put the skull in. And, you know, honestly, I don't know if you'd be able to use one of these because I had the broken horn that was able to fit. But, anyway, let her soak, rot away in the water. Every couple of days, take it out, clean off more flesh if you can. Or... You know, if you're doing the boiling method, you can do that too, but uh, bring this over here and I'll show you how all these tools here work. I'll even just fit the horn on there right now. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, this was on this side. I believe so. I can't remember. Nope, wrong side. This was on this side. Okay, so you got to get all the flesh off here so you can work in there. And it's really hard to get the proper angle because you still have all this skull here in the way. But you, you know, you can use a flathead screwdriver. I was using the tip of this knife, being ever so careful, keeping it pointed down towards the bone as much as I can. There were there was like one spot where I like just poked through. This is real soft at the base of the horn, real soft flesh, especially when it's wet and soaking. I mean, it's it's flexible. You can see that. So you want to be very extra careful not to pierce through that and that's why I have this like bent hook little screwdriver thing here get up underneath it 
and it just gave me a better angle in some areas like up in here you know uh, honestly this is probably th that end there is a little too long I should have bent it up a little higher so I maybe only had about an inch of the screwdriver to work with instead of two I also use this hook in some places I would once I made my cut with the knife underneath I would also use this hook to peck at the flesh and break it apart break it loose but after letting it rot for almost two weeks and letting it soak in the water for about half that time I mean I didn't get around to putting the head in water until the start of the second week um, yeah I was able to break the seal loose and peel these off and then just hit that with the pressure washer there you go so now you know how to take horns off of a uh, buffalo skull